So it may seem strange to some that Jesus Christ should be known and preached long before his birth. I believe the prophet Alma best sums it up when he says, I would say somewhat unto you concerning the coming of Christ. Behold, you marvel why these things should be known so long beforehand. Behold, I say unto you, is not a soul at this time as precious unto God as a soul will be at the time of his coming? And so similar to Alma, we have the prophet Jacob, who is also preaching Christ long before his birth and is accepting the solemn responsibility of being a minister among his people. Jacob chapter 1, starting in verse 6. And we also had many revelations, and the spirit of much prophecy. Wherefore, we knew of Christ and his kingdom which should come. Wherefore, we labored diligently among our people, that we might persuade them to come unto Christ, and partake of the goodness of God, that they might enter into his rest. Wherefore, we would to God that we could persuade all men not to rebel against God, to provoke him to anger, but that all men would believe in Christ and view his death and suffer his cross and bear the shame of the world. Wherefore, I, Jacob, take it upon me to fulfill the commandment of my brother Nephi. Jesus Christ has been preached on this earth as long as there have been people on the earth, and the prophet Jacob reaffirms that for us. Until next time, happy reading.